Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to create three different business card layout designs in Illustrator, all print ready and good to go. So I will leave a link in the video description for all the resources and fonts that are mentioned in this video. So you'll have access to everything. And what you see on screen is the final outcome of this tutorial. So yep, we're going to create all three of these business card designs. So a front and back of each design. So we've got a few different kind of fictitious businesses here. So this one is for a textile designer. This one's for a design studio. And this one's for a seafood restaurant. So I'm going to go file new. And so we can do four at once. I've got my number of artboards set at four. If you just wanna create one of these business card designs, just decrease this down to two and you'll be good to go. I'm keeping half an inch between these, which you can do as big of a space as you want. This is what half an inch looks like right here. Two columns, and in the US, the size of a business card is three and a half inches wide by two inches high. And because we've got artwork that's going off the edges, that means we need a bleed. So the standard bleed is 0.125 inches or an eighth of an inch. We're working in CMYK as our color mode because these are intended for print and our resolution is 300 PPI, which is the print resolution standard. So once you have all of this, hit OK. All right, so we've got our four artboards right here, and I'm actually just gonna copy and paste in the final outcome so we can move along pretty quickly with these. And I can just grab everything super quick, but I will go through each of the color, um, color palettes for each card design. Okay, so this one probably looks a little familiar if you've been following along with tutorials lately. This is from the Seamless pattern design tutorial that we did a, a little while ago and I'll leave a link to that tutorial if you want this kind of pattern on your card and these are the colors that we're going to be using for this card design so I'm just I'll zoom in over here and I'll click on each one of these this is the dark kind of navy blue that we're going to be using just pause the video if you want to write these down this is the seafoam green that we're using and this is kind of the sky blue that we're going to be using Okay, so we're just gonna hop right in and I'm just gonna hit M on my keyboard and I'm just gonna draw from the red line all the way down here. The red line is your bleed line. So this is the actual size of the card is where the black line is. So whenever you are bleeding artwork off the edge of your card, you want it to extend as far as the red line, but just know that when you cut, the artwork will actually stop right here. The artwork extending to the red line will ensure that whenever you cut your card, you're not gonna have any weird white hair lines because the artwork extends all the way off of the card. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna hit I on my keyboard and eyedropper this navy blue. And this element and actually all of these elements from this pattern come from the 100 Vector Leaves and Flourishes kit right here and I'll leave a link to this as well. So I'm just gonna copy it from the pack and bring it in, paste, and kind of set it over here. And I'm gonna eyedropper, hit I on your keyboard, select this green color, and we're just gonna move it over here. And because we only need this artwork to extend to the red line right here, if I hit M on my keyboard, I can kind of draw a rectangle around it if I don't want it dangling down here. So I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard to return to my selection tool, hold Shift, select that stem, right click, make clipping mask and now it's kind of contained within this card design okay so this is i'm just going to grab this text for the sake of time and i'll give you the exact increments of all the typography that's being used okay so this main font is called a matic bold and i've got it set around 22 and a half points and it's set in white and then the title is nova Cento sans wide bold this both of these are free fonts. And whenever you are creating a business card design, you wanna consider how you want your hierarchy of information to go. So for this example, I want the name of the person because it's her card. So I want that to be first, and I want the fact that she's a textile designer to stand out. And two ways you can make the title stand out from the contact information is scale, so the size of the text, or weight, or color. So. We're kind of keeping these about the same size and 
we're keeping them the same color, but we're changing the weight. So this is set in bold and the rest of this contact information is set in a light weight instead of a bold weight. So that'll differentiate it. You don't have to do all three. You kind of want to choose one or two out of the options that you have to distinguish hierarchy. So for here, you can see right away textile designer is important. And then our tertiary information is the contact information right here. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our pattern and let me see if it shows up in our swatches. Yep. So here's my little swatch from, uh, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you do the tutorial on the seamless pattern. So all I have to do is draw using my rectangle tool, a rectangle. And if it were just a color, it would look like this. But in your swatches palette over here, and if you don't see your swatches palette, you can get to it by going window swatches. And all I have to do is click on the pattern. And when I click on it, this is the default size that the pattern was created at. But if I want it to show up like this, all I have to do is right click on the pattern, transform, scale. And when this dialog box pops up, this is where I want the scale to go down to 40%, but you want to uncheck this transform objects. And now you can see when I preview on and off how it is a smaller size pattern in there. And then you can just hit OK. All right, so we've got our person's name, their title, their contact information, a nice little design element to tie the front of the card to the back of the card. And now, so you could just leave the back of the card just the pattern, but I wanted to include the name of the company that this girl might work for. So for this, I am using, let me draw the ribbon first. So a really kind of quick tip way to create a ribbon if you don't have a ribbon is just hit M on your keyboard for your rectangle tool, draw out a skinny rectangle, hit V on your keyboard and you can see this is the bounding box that comes around and you can see we've got nodes that fall at the center point of the vertical and the horizontal and if I hover over the horizontal node if I just hit the plus key on my keyboard I get the plus anchor point tool do not move your mouse and just click once and now hit your A key on your keyboard and that's your direct select tool and then you can hit your arrow key so I'm hitting my left arrow key and that'll just push that new point that we just created in. And just like that, if I hit I on my keyboard and eyedropper the blue, now I've got a ribbon, piece of cake. Okay, so I'm going to copy this over. This is the name of this fake pattern company. And this is also set in a matic bold and the point size is about th 13 and a quarter point. Okay, so that's business card number one, totally done. Okay, so moving on to business card number two, these are the colors that we're going to be using. So this is the purple over here. This is the yellow. And this is the green, the juniper green. OK, so I'm going to hit M on my keyboard for my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw out another rectangle. Eyedropper, hit I on your keyboard, eyedropper the purple. And now we're going to um, type out or use the name Juniper. And this is set in my very first brush script font, which just came out yesterday. It's called Tuesday Script. So I'll leave a link to that if you want to check it out or take it for a test drive. And then, um, so I've got Tuesday Script and it's set in about 35 points right here. And then Design Studio, I'm just going to set that right below it. And this is set in Evolith, Clean, Regular. And let's bump this up a little bit four and a half points so it can be seen a little bit better and it's the tracking on it is a hundred right here okay so in order to draw a circle so we're putting our text right in the middle of it if you come over here and grab your round or if you grab your ellipse tool if you hover over kind of the center of your text hold shift hold alt click and drag and that'll drag out a circle from the center point wherever you started and we're just gonna switch these around so it's on the stroke and then i'm gonna hit i on my keyboard make sure this is in the front so and then hold shift and click on the green if you don't hold shift it'll fill it in like that so it matches this so just hold shift when you do that okay okay so next we just need to set all this text bring it over Okay, so as a secondary font right here, I'm using Evolith. Once again, it's all tracked out to 100 right here for every one of these. But the name, since this our hierarchy for this card is that the name of the company is first, and then the name of the person, and then all the rest of their information is kind of on the same level. So this is set at about seven points, and it's clean regular. 
And then the rest of this information is set at clean, thin, and it's five points. Okay, so for the back of the card, we're just keeping it really simple with the green and then bringing in the logo, but just changing up the color a little bit to add a little visual interest. So the very last card is for a seafood restaurant kind of on the coast. So we're gonna call it salt. And in order to create a vertical oriented business card, all we have to do is come over here and click on this artboard tool right here. And we're just gonna click and draw out a vertical artboard. And the most important thing to pay attention to up here, you can see X and Y is kind of saying where it is on your screen, but we care more about the width and the height. So I'm gonna change the width to two inches and the height to three and a half inches. So that's our vertical artboard. And I'm just gonna kind of center it within these ones. And now I need another one, so I'm just gonna hold Alt on my keyboard, click and drag, and while I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift so I kind of get that smart guide for the middle of this one. And now we've got both of our artboards. So come over here and just grab your regular selection tool and you'll go out of edit artboard mode and you're good to go with our final business card. So you'll notice for this business card, we're only using one, co one color because the rest of our um, card design comes from the texture that's being used. So this blue is right here, 50 cyan, 10 magenta and zero for the rest. And this texture is coming from the Watercolor Texture Kit Volume 2. So if you've already picked that up, you've already got the texture. And this texture, I believe, let's see, it's Texture Abstract Soft number 15. So let me show you what that looks like without it being in a clipping mask. Okay, so this is what the texture looks like. So all you're gonna do is go File, Place, choose your texture, and once it comes in, you're just gonna kind of position it in the lower half of the front of your card because we're gonna put, this time, our hierarchy is we have the name of the person and then the, the name of the company, but even though the name of the company is larger, it's much lighter, so your eye goes to the bolder text that's colored up at the top first, kind of in this white space area where we're directing your eye to go and everything else is kind of enhancing the rest of the layout. So over here, we're just gonna position this texture at the lower half of this, and then we're gonna hit M on our keyboard and draw out a rectangle. And now we're gonna hit V on our keyboard, rubber band select everything, right click, make clipping mask, and now we've got our texture in our card. So we need to do that one more time. Let me grab th this texture. So we'll start like, we just hit file, place, we brought our texture in, and this time we want this to be in the top portion of our card, kind of the top two thirds. Kind of position it where it feels comfortable. And then hit M on your keyboard one more time. We're just gonna freehand out a rectangle. Hit V on your keyboard for your selection tool, rubber band select everything, right click, make clipping mask, and now we've got the base for our card. So this logo, let me grab the front of it first. Okay. So the, the word salt is using the font called Muncie and here I'm using about 43 and a half points for it and it's tracked out at about 100. And then for our kind of the secondary information, the descriptor for the logo is set 6.3 and it's Evilith Clean Regular. And then the URL down here is Evilith Clean Regular 4 point and both of these are tracked out at 100. Okay, so the name of the person is set in the blue and the name is Evilith Clean Regular, seven and three quarters points. This one's tracked out at 100, and her title manager is set at 5.7 and tracked out at 100, Evilith Clean Regular. And then for the back of the card, we're just gonna bring the same kind of information over for the name, kind of the logo of the company. And then down here, this is just our extra information and the first come, first serve, and the phone number are set in Evilith Clean Regular, 4.6 font, point font, tracked out at 100. And then down here, this is Evilith Clean Thin, set at about 4.6, tracked out at 100. 
One thing that I want to mention is whenever you're creating a business card and you need to choose typefaces, it's really important not to go overboard with the different fonts that you're using. As you'll notice, most of these, if not I think all of them, are just using two fonts. So it keeps it really clean, it helps the eye decide where to go because if you have a bunch of different styles, your eye can be distracted and it's not a clear read on what you should be seeing first or second. Hierarchy is really important on business cards because you only have a, a brief second with someone to really absorb your information, your brand, and the style that you want to come across when you're handing out your business card. So just a small tip, all of these are using two fonts max, and just make sure that there's some good contrast in the fonts that you're using. So that's how to create three business card designs in Illustrator for all different businesses, and all of these are print ready. So you could take these to a professional printer or you could print them at home yourself using the bulk print method, which um, is another tutorial you can check out. I'll leave a link to that. So. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.